Hi guys, welcome back. Here is another Android O or we can call it Oreo sort of it's getting leaked. Android O tips and tricks. So yesterday I've shown you in my previous video some of the top 15 uh, you know new features or you can say that are changed from the previous and compared with Android Nougat. So check that video and it's very great to see uh, some of the new features like you know we are seeing how the Android is shaping in case you are not so lucky user that can install Android O on your devices. A couple of updates here. First off in case you have any of the Android Nougat device you can install the Android O Pixel Launcher. Uh, there's a lot of changes if you compare it with the Google Pixel phones which are having the built in the Pixel Launcher. So check that video too. And I have few com uh, comments from the user like, uh, even though it's sort, you know, said to be supported from the Lollipop and the Marshmallow, but uh, there are kind of issues coming in or crashing and all the stuff. So, but anyway, uh, there's no such comment like it's not working on Android Nougat. So try that out here. And in case you're going to install the same launcher on your Android O Beta phones, for example, Nexus 6P, 5X, this thing is not working, uh, I've tried a couple of times, so let's get started and see what we're going to see today. So today we're going to see uh, there's a new feature called Picture in Picture, so that came on the first review build, but that was not working anyhow. So today uh, we're going to see how you can use that, and this feature is working, so as of now, not all apps are supported, only two apps, uh, three apps actually I found out, YouTube, Google Chrome, and Gmail is supposed to work, but it's not working. We're going to see how you can do that. First off, to do that, you need to go inside your setting, and you need to enable, uh, not going to the setting, you need to first enable the system UI tuner. To do that, you need to simply uh, check here, you can see this is your uh, gear icon, which using that you can open this setting. So just click and hold here for a couple of seconds until you see the spinning. It's very difficult to see the spinning because it's quite a small. So you can see this option, system UI tuner has been added to setting. You have to go inside the system, you'll find an entry called as system UI tuner. So this is what you can see that. And now uh, there's a couple of things here. First, let's configure our navigation bar. So I should really like you to make it compact. You can see now I can easily have control in case you're wider. I need to swipe it down. But you know, if I hold my phone to type, it's really, you know, kind of pain to swipe here. So you need have to uh, make this compact. I'm just telling you. Now you need to enable first thing here called as a key code. So you can just uh, pick your position where you want it to like. So I'm just taking here on the left side and you need to assign a value to it, just remember it carefully, 171, that's a key code. And if you want to check out all the detailed key codes, so watch my previous video, I have listed there a lot of Google supported key code for the Android keyboard. So this is 171. An option you can pick an icon, whatever you want, and say, I've just taken here, the big one here, all right. And optionally you can enable uh, other things too in case you wanted to, say clipboard. So this is how you learn two things here. So this thing has been done. So picture in picture mode, you need to enable. Obviously you need to make sure it is enabled. So now how to use that? Let's open YouTube. And as of now, this is working. So in case you wanted to watch any song or watch any video and keep on doing other work. So this feature is really great. I'm just going to show you how you can do that. I'm just going to play a video here. So uh, that's the Pixel Launcher video I did show you yesterday. So you just have to, uh, once it is start playing, just click here, you can see. I'm just uh, increasing the volume here. Let's click here. It will show you. You can just switch it back to the normal. Or if you just click here, you can just rearrange it to wherever you wanted to. Now you can easily open any other application. You can do and keep on typing here. So uh, this feature is really very great. So you can see, you can easily uh, fit to your position. Obviously, you cannot watch it clearly but hopefully this feature should uh, bring you know enhance in the future so that you can easily view with the video watch the video and can do your work parallelly so i guess it's been paused so you can again resume it all right oh we have just minimized the sound now uh, this is for the youtube and uh, let's go and try for the google chrome this is your google chrome if i just open something and type google let's see you will start google.com and uh, if you click here so you can see this is how it works, so I guess you, you cannot uh, just uh, make it side figure, you have to use it somehow here, here. That's how you can do that, so, so Gmail I tried it is not working. So there you have it guys, a way how you can enable this uh, picture in picture mode and what is that feature. So as uh, this is system UI tuner feature, so uh, there's no guarantee this is uh, coming to the Android O because system UI tuner stuffs are for development R&D. They can be removed at any time. There is no guarantee like it is going to come or not. But we may see like Google generally don't remove this system UI tuner feature. 
just like they just moved on power notification control which is a really nice feature so guys thank you so much for watching this is your android o tips and trick hope you guys did enjoy it thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you next video have a great day